Um, yo guys, what is up? It is Master Darius here. As you can see here, it's a good day for Halo. Because guess what? We are here on the new map, which I'm going to be covering today, which is Remnant. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you here the full tour of Remnant. As you can see here, this is a full remake of Relic. There's been a few changes, as you can probably see, and which I'll show you guys later. But first of all, you probably, most of you are probably here for that soda can location, which I'll show you right now. Let me just get in my ghost and drive to the soda can location. So this is probably the hardest soda can location to find of any of any the maps because it's probably the least expect one. It's hardest to see, so you, um, so you're gonna have to just, uh, it's, you can see it based on its green glow. So I'm just gonna get to the sniper rifle here if it's highly recommended. It. It's right here. Moved around a little bit. There's also quite a lot of rock around here. But the, and also you can see that the um, ship that's been crashed here has some vegetation growing on it, which is quite interesting, I find. So, what you have to do is, you have to climb on this little rock structure here, get on this tip here, right here, and there it is, the soda can's right there, you can see it based on its green glow. I mean, most people wouldn't expect it here, but if you shoot it, as I just did, all the green juice will come out, and there's your achievement. Monumental first, found and destroyed the blast soda can on Remnant. Now, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you came here for the um, soda can, but for those of you that stay, we're gonna be exploring now the map of Remnant. Some of you guys may not have experienced the map yet, so I'm gonna show you guys what we have. So, as you can see here, this is the um, blue team spawn. So they spawn always with a classic crash. As you can see, the crash is gone. Some age on it, has some vegetation growing at the there, which is quite interesting. The war talk is still here. Sniper rifles mo moved over there, so a lot more rock, rocky structures here, which snipers can the sniper can use here for his advantage. They also add in for mongoose here first time, if you cover here. Um, but yeah, here's the first interesting change. I mean, that was, that was an interesting change, but um, I lost myself here a little bit, but. All right, let's just move up, move up here. So here's the first interesting change that I was talking about. Um, there's a speed boost which they added in here, which is pretty cool. Works pretty well on Halo 2 anniversary. It's actually really effective as well. It's a really fast walking tank. So and here's our old foreigner tower, which people love. We loved in Relic. Um, as you can see, there used to be some cover here in the original Relic, which people could hide behind if they're taking fire. It was a very powerful power position taking control. However, however, those um, piece of cover have been removed, so power posi that power position isn't as um, powerful anymore. So enemies, it'll be easier for snipers to snipe the enemies that are hiding within p that position over there. So a shotgun has been moved as well. It's been moved here rather than towards the um, dark tunnel over there. Those adding a silenced SMG on the other side of this area. And as, as you can see, the foreign structure has been worked around a little bit. There's some been a few UNSC structures have been added added to two thing um, here. So yeah, you probably would remember that there would be a rocket launcher spawn right here, but they made a little minor change. They moved the rocket launcher right behind here as well. And as you can see, it shows here the wage. There's a lot of vegetation, some wood here from UNSC structures. And apparently for store this is I think the UNSC did abandon this, so that's why it looks old. So um here first time ever that in some can man you can use it. There's another one on the other side and you get on this structure right here. Then if you come here this area is more darker than it was in Relic I believe. But the glow of the energy sword should um guide you and it's a classic energy sword and you can get it here and use it so then if you jump up here to a red base, as you can see, the structure looks really cool. And let's look at that, at, this, um, at the nature around us. So looks pretty cool. The background, as you saw, there's some lightning over there, which is pretty cool. So you see some sunshine everywhere, and also a storm going around. This is the halo ring. And then if you drop down here, you will remember all, all of those of us that did play Relic. You can activate here a two-way teleporter, which leads you all the way to the blue base, but only for reds that spawn can activate it, but also blues can do it if they do infiltrate the red base. So you have a red spawn here on the beach side. Pretty cool to see some mud around here as well as a little effect showing in the map as age a little bit, so I like the change in the map was made. 
So yeah, and here's the side again. Yeah, nothing has been changed that much in this side, apart from the building that's been added here. There used to be a Jackal Sniper Tower here instead, but this is a UNSC Tower instead now. And for the first time ever in matchmaking, you'll be able to use the Hail 2 Anniversary Beam Rifle. Looks similar to the Hail 4, but plays identical to the, sniper, to the original Hail 2 Classic Sniper Rifle. Beam Rifle, sorry. So yeah, here's a little thing. If you can, if you can jump here, you can easily get killed by fusion coils. But yes, a really good vantage point, you can Five control this area and also the enemy points. So it's a very good sniper position, I find, but you have to watch out obviously for this fusion coil. So overall, what I think on this map, I, lo I, I really love it so far. I can't wait to actually do a live commentary for you guys on this map. But before I move on to that, I'm going to do my ODST rock which I'm really looking forward to showcasing today. So, And here is a little effect, you can see um, nature is taking over here. There's a little bit of a salt marsh, I believe, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But you can't really exit the map. There's a kill to a kill barrier here. Um, so yeah, this has been Remnant. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Master Davros, and I'll see you guys soon for my ODST video.